today's episode, we are trying something new. That's right, a food challenge. To guide me through this, I need the best of the best. So I'm flying to LA to meet up with fellow YouTuber Reyna, who's a competitive eater and food challenger. We're going to find out what it takes to eat it all. Meow. All right, folks, and 12, 13 hours later, we are here. Yay! Oh, thank you for picking me up. Thank you for your... Okay, and we are in the car. Well, everybody, this is Raina. Hi. Look at her fabulous hair. <laughs> Raina and I are actually high school. We went to the same high school. We're Facebook friends. Mm -hmm. So I seen you become a cook at Benihana. That was like your first thing. And then you're doing catering? You're making bento boxes? What was that? Uh, that was well, uh, like meal prep for a whole bunch of because I was a League of Legends professional esports player. What? And then, so I know these teams and these boys need to eat and they don't want to cook. So I just made like a thousand lunch boxes every week and delivered it to LA. Okay, that was the story behind it. How did you transition into, is it competitive eating? Like what's the correct term for all of this? I am for me, I'm not like a crazy professional competitive yeah. eater. I just eat a lot and make it entertaining. Oh, <laughs> and I worked at Benihana. That yeah. was like my real time where I sat down with coworkers and ate. All my life I ate fast and I ate a lot because you know I usually have like Chinese style, just eat as much food as you can. Right. And everybody in my family eats fast. So I was at Benihana, I took the employee meal and I was like, oh they throw it away at the end of the day. It's like too much. So I was just alright, I'm just gonna pile up eat as much as I can. They're like Eat a lot. I'm like, really? Oh, okay. I guess I do. <laughs> I guess I do. Yeah. And then so they told me they told me about a food challenge nearby. I was like, what is a food challenge? You yeah. know, it's because it's not really an Asian culture. And yeah. I didn't know it's like this thing is it's a thing. Okay, all right. And then I've always wanted to be an entertainer in some way. I've made cooking videos before, League of Legends video, blah blah yeah, blah. I so I was like, I'm just gonna record myself eating. And oh, you guys like to watch me eat. <laughs> you know, like Yes, they do. Yeah. <laughs> First food challenge was this nearby like four pound burrito. And apparently my natural capacity was like five pounds. So my first ever food challenge, I ate that four pound burrito in six minutes. That is crazy. So you 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 just are naturally good at yeah. eating. I just ate a You're lot of You're naturally life. good at, oh my gosh. I've only been doing this for about a year and it just skyrocketed because no other girl really does this. And I met a lot of people and it has been such an amazing journey. I'm just like, why not, you know, just go out and explore, do all the food adventures and you know, food nowadays, everybody loves food. So what can oh, go wrong, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, Reyna is hustling. And now you're at 100K, yeah. congrats. Thank you. And she's just post, she posts every single day. Are you oh, doing oh. challenges every day? It almost it's, seems like you are. It's not challenges, like some some nowadays, cause you know, realistically, I know cause I'm still fairly young. Uh, my metabolism's not gonna last. And you know, like this is why I don't want to be professional because professionals right. eat like 20 pounds of food. And Holy I'm like, shows. I don't know what they are doing, but I don't want my health to be non-reversible or something. Cause that's, I'm very real about it. I mix in competitive eating, food challenges, and food reviews. Not every day I'm going apeshit sure crazy stuff in my mouth, you know. That's just, good, yeah. So I, I know how to take into moderation. Like, you know, I feel realistic. I'm still human. Once you started, did you have to learn like real competitive eating techniques? Is there is there techniques you're supposed to do? There is water training that I have done for a couple of months, which is you chug a gallon of water to stretch out your stomach. So after the water is gone, you can replace it. Because ever since I started, I was at five pound capacity. Now I can go up to 10 pounds. Oh, wow. But you can I, just use expand you doubled it yes but i really do not want to go past that point because too much water is very harmful yeah. and it can be very dangerous so i'm happy for where i am as long as it can make it entertaining i don't need to go past that point let's say you have you're eating a you're eating you're going to a restaurant today and then it's like a i don't know like a seven pound burrito mm -hmm. do you just wait until that restaurant to eat for the day or do you actually eat something small in the morning during lunch it's just for the day just so, for the day ah. so a lot of food challenges is a lot like intermittent Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Since YouTube now is my full time job, the rest yeah. of the day I have routine to work out, blah, 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 staying in shape. You know, so, you know, bodybuilders do do this. Like, they, they actually do. eat more than me, probably not as fast, but they do eat a lot. They do. You know, so it's kind of like that kind of idea. Got it. Yeah. Obviously, you, you don't know intermittent fasting. It's basically you eat, you fast for 16 hours and you eat for 8 hours. Eight. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. So then, you can eat, so then I did this before and I only ate two meals a day within the eight hour period. 
or I get to eat one big meal for the day, which is what she's doing. My off days, I make sure to take in the fruits and veggies I need because when I'm not doing a challenge, it's not like I'm eating meat all the time. Like yeah. I, when I first started out, this because you know, a food challenge is an American thing. I, I did not grow up eating American food, so yeah. eating burgers was absolutely disgusting for me because I was like, who wants to eat so much ground beef at once? <laughs> yeah. You know, Asian food has such a variety of veggies oh, and carbs, yeah. and we don't just have straight up meat all the time. So I'm just like, ugh. Yeah, I got used to it, but that's why I, you know, I go out and look to make something on my own, especially yeah. with Asian restaurants, because like I need some veggies. You know, so actually go out to restaurants and then you like create your own challenge with them. Yes. To restaurants, I sell it as a business or like a gimmick. Hey, you know, like this restaurant in New York has this giant thing. It's a viral video. Maybe yeah. you guys can create something. I'll help you promote it and you know, just go from there. And a lot of restaurants that I go to, we, I usually find them on Instagram and I see who's more social, like technology savvy. Most of these uh, owners are usually young, young business owners. I've and noticed that, especially in LA region. Yes, I make sure to call and I just, I'm not there for free food. So I tell them it's a business promotion. Right. So then they're a lot happier about it. You know, it's like, I'm not just here for free food. I'm no, here to help, help promote your restaurant. It's just about learning how to sell yourself. No, you know? absolutely. Yeah. How is your day to day like now? full-time competitors eater and youtuber and like businesswoman you're your you're your everything yeah I usually schedule whatever it is like to do in the early afternoon so in the morning when i wake up i do my morning exercises for my dog whatever and then um i do as much editing as i can get ready for it to go out right. and then um I go record and usually I'm home by like six or five mm -hmm. and then I need some cool down time like two hours just to like sleep sure. or nap yeah. in the food coma whatever it is and I go exercise with my doggy and then I usually stay up to like 1 a.m. and finish editing and stuff. I, I know you're super excited for all of this so I see you hustling and stuff but is, is there a side of you where you're kind of you're like tired? Oh yeah definitely there's sometimes I just like I've just been burnt out and like I just keep on going every yeah. day and I'm maybe editing like two three videos a day sometimes I do that like right now um, I've been hustling so hard so nowadays I've just been like are you okay? <laughs> yeah you need to relax. Someone is just starting out like they would they do they have to do the water training to expand out there they don't have to they could just eat naturally it could be naturally or you could eat a lot of salad something healthy because food is always a lot safer than water training if you want to do something safe do watermelon watermelon uh, salad uh just like yogurt. every day just eating watermelon yeah just eat as much as you can and it also you know it process very easily so yeah. it, you don't have to worry about it being like too full or whatnot i think i eat a lot but then also looking at you i'm like i don't eat that much <laughs> like, I, in high school i used to be 200 pounds did you know yeah, that's why I have like a bigger stomach because I is to be stretched out because I was fat at one point. But I saw. Wait, you did lose a lot of weight. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at you now, girl. Thank you. Sparkling. Yeah, thank you. What are we doing today? Where today, are we going? We are going to a hot pot place. Does that yeah. work? Do you have to cook the meat? You cook the meat. Mm -hmm. I think it's like five pounds of meat or something with like rice and veggies. Oh my god. <laughs> They yeah. told me, hey, we want to promote this new challenge, come over here, and it just so happens. TJ is coming on the same day Hi. I planned it, yeah. and it's just double promotion for the restaurant, so everybody wins. They're going to do the challenge with I you. don't think so. Oh, I, I okay. thought I'm just looking. Hey, you can do whatever you like. Yeah, yeah. She can try it. Do you guys want oh. <laughs> if she doesn't finish, I'll five, finish it for her. Five pounds me, I eat like one pound. <laughs> We're going to head to the challenge now. We're going to see how Reyna does it. I don't think I can go too crazy with hot pot, you know, it's like I gotta be somewhat civilized But yeah, 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 yeah. if you guys want to see my like, other oh, crazy stuff I'll, it's, I'll it's... show you those clips and you can go to their <laughs> channel and just binge all of these Because there, I think there's there's some challenges where you make you mix it all together Yeah You do this massive pile of food and you just like Yep just Made a burger back to ground beef, whatever it is you know? <laughs> There was beautiful. this um funny pizza one yeah where you know it was some stupid ridiculous challenge so i'm like all right if you're gonna just like i'm not gonna be able to finish so i'm just might as well give it a show so i'm put all the pizza i mashed into a big ball yeah. and i start punching it <laughs> just to, to <laughs> mash it up just to give it everybody a show and they're just like oh you know i I'm love not, that you're like entertainer yeah. performer as well that's so that's amazing yeah like i said i'm not the best eater i know i'm not there's no way i can finish a like 36 inch pizza in 15 minutes right, but right. i'll give you a show you know, I'll be that. the most entertaining. I, I don't that. care. Yeah. I hope you guys are ready to be entertained. Okay? So to Shabu, we go! Ah. Okay, so 
Originally, I wasn't gonna do the challenge, but since we're here, I guess we're gonna do the challenge. I would make her try. <laughs> not prep for this, okay? I had airplane food, I had coffee, I ate a lot of snacks. Okay, I'm not mentally prepared for this. Look at this. What is that? What is this? I'm freaking out. Raina said if I don't finish, she's gonna help me. But I'm gonna do my best, but again, I'm not prepped for this. <laughs> I think this is so scary. <laughs> she's so excited. She's like, this is just another normal day, but this is crazy for me. <laughs> I already feel full <laughs> just looking at it. Behind me is the food challenge. Um, it's just, I don't even know the correct number of what we're eating, but I'm just gonna go and try it, you know? We only live once. This looks like you should only eat once. Go, go us. <laughs> but we're gonna be attending the challenge together. It's going to be three pounds of beef, one pound of chicken, one pound of noodles, a bowl of rice and veggies. That's my first advice, put up your hair. Yeah, you gotta put up your hair. <laughs> The way this challenge works is uh, they will start the timer right when you put in the meat into the soup and you have a 30 minute time limit. If you finish it all, you get it for free. It takes longer to cook, so here we go.
Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Awesome. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.